Good day, class. So as I have informed you last week, you will no longer conduct a midterm exam, but rather you will have a midterm project, okay? So your midterm project is all about analyzing the environmental forces of a tourism and hospitality business firm. If you can see, the midterm project is more likely focused on module 2, specifically on lesson 2.1 on environmental forces affecting the firm. But we will also include different information regarding module 1 up to module 2, which is lesson 2.2. Again, what are you going to do in your midterm project is you're going to analyze the environmental forces of a um, business firm, okay? Kung ano sa itong maka-affect maka sa mga business firm of your choice. Remember that environmental forces includes the internal and ex external environment, okay? So what are you going to do with the project is that first, um, you need to identify one tourism, okay? Identify one tourism or hospitality-related business firm in your locality. So, for example, mga hotels, um, restaurants, travel agency, or even those business firms offer events planning, okay? So, mga negosyo, ayaw ng mga attractions and sites, dapat business firm good. Make sure to choose the right one or business firm. Kaya masayop mo, masayop po diha everything will be zero. And it is very important to take note also that you will cho choose a business firm in your locality. So if you are from Bye Bye, so you need to choose a um, business firm located in Bye Bye. Okay? So, and also, you're going to create a profile of the business establishment that you have chosen. For example, if you're in a Bye Bye City and you chose Palermo Hotel, so you have to create a profile of Palermo Hotel, okay? So later on, I will show you the template for you to be able to understand how to create a profile. Again, mas maayo og diha sa inyo lugar para at least pwede mo makakandak og interviews sa firm and very accessible po siya ninyo. Okay? Like for example, um, your analysis will not just be finish in just one interview. So, kailangan ni mo mubalik sa firm. So, since naarama siya sa inyong area or within malang sa inyong locality, then accessible lang siya. Okay? Anytime pwede na ka makabalik dito to gather information. Okay? And after identifying the firm that you have chosen, then you will analyze the environmental factors affecting the identified tourism or hospitality-related business firm. So, on sa on, meaning yung pag-analyze environmental forces. Remember that the environmental of a business firm is consists of two systems or two environment or two factors. So we have the internal factors and the external factors. And there are different strategies or technique that you can use in analyzing the business firm. Okay, so one of it is this SWOT analysis. So SWOT analysis means the strength, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and threat. So you're going to perform SWOT analysis. Diba, naka-identify na kasi imong firm, for example, Palarma Hotel. Then you're going to perform a SWOT analysis sa business firm. So how are you going to do that? Remember, again, ang imuha external and internal environment of the firm. So, strength and weaknesses, internal na siya. So, you have to look the internal factors sa firm. Kung saan mo mga internal factors sa firm, for example, your employees, the physical facilities, the suppliers and distributors, and others. Okay? And then, opportunities and threats. These are from external factors of the organization. So, the organization doesn't have control about it. But, the organizations can act about it. So when you perform the opportunities and threats, you can perform or you can refer the vessel analysis. Okay? So vessel here means political, economic, social, technological, legal, and environmental. So when you analyze the environmental forces, you can look into the vessel analysis of the general environment of the firm. So you can look into the opportunities and threats in regards to the puzzle factors and of course you have to look into the opportunities and strengths of the task environment which is also still part of your external 
environments. You will not be able to do this instruction if you are not familiar with the module 2.1. So, you really have to study, okay? So, after analyzing, then you're going to prepare na sa Imhang Suit and Pestle Analysis Report of the Identified Tourism or Hospitality-Related Business Firm. So, naghapon na siya template, okay? So, I prepared a template here so that you'll be guided kung unsa yung mga content, kung unsa yung mga subtopics that you need to put in place in your report. So, mag-identify ka, mag ka and then magkuha ka mga information regarding sa PESEL and then regarding sa internal and external sa business firm yung imong chose. Then, mag-conduct po ka og SWOT and PESEL analysis. Then, afterwards, you're going to transform all information, all the data and information ng imong gathered into a, an analysis report. So, I will show you later on. O kung sa'yo po maaning analysis report. So, ang kana siyang analysis report, that would be your submission. Okay? Muna siya yung isubmit sa VSU EE. Okay? So, your, the, regarding on the grading, so a total score of 100 points. So, 100 points cover the content, organization, the grammar, the similarity index, and then the timeliness. So, content here refers to the information about your report. Okay? Um, correctness of the information being placed in the report. The deep and width of the information being presented in the report. And the analysis performed to generate new information. So that would be a, an equivalent to 40%. Okay? And the next one is the organization, which is 20%. So this refers how you organize the different parts of the reports. Okay? So how you organize your paragraph, your thoughts. Um, if it is coherent or it is easy to read, okay? And the next one is the grammar, so which is very also, which is very also, which is important also in creating an analysis report. So grammar should be checked, okay? So how you're, you can, you construct your sentences, um, how are you going to use the correct use of verbs and uh, singular and plural. And the next one is similarity index. Okay? So, the VSU EE has the turn it in. So, this turn it in will going to check your similarity index. So, for example, you copy data from the internet. So, the rule of turn it in will identify the percentage. Okay? Identify the percentage of the data you copied from the internet. Okay? And the next one is the timeliness. So, for those students who will pass on time, then you will get automatically the 10%. And then for those students who will submit late, then wala na 10%. So, it's either 0 or 10% in timeliness. Okay? Now, I will show you the template. Okay, so this is your template of the report. So title of the report, <clears throat> you can create your own title as long as it has the, 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 the keywords. Okay, keywords includes the environmental factors, name of the establishment, and then the analysis that you are going to perform. So those three keywords has to be presented in your title. Again, you can create your own title as long as these three keywords are presented, okay, or included. So, for example, you are going to write the title at the topmost portion of the report. Then, report. Dili kay ang title of the report. 
ang inyong ibutang. So, dapat remove ni siya and then ipuli ninyo ang title of your report. So, I have here an example. Assessing the environmental factors affecting Shangri-La Hotel using SWOT and vessel analysis. So, ing ana siya dapat. Okay? And the next one, midterm project report. So, the, the subject itself. And then the name of the student, degree program, if it is you are in hospitality management or tourism management. And then your class schedule that includes your offering number. Then first semester 2021-2022. Okay, so again, you're going to write here the title of the report. And then proceed to introduction. <clears throat> So, introduction will give us the context of what the report is all about. You introduce the report. You are going to give the readers a hint of what to expect in the body of the report. You can cite here mga literatures from the internet. For example, um, environmental factors, talk about mauni, mauna, and this is important because blah, blah, blah. So, ana example, or... This report will provide you the information about the factors that affect Shangri-La Hotel within or outside of the firm, and etc. So, mga ang ana. So, you have to introduce the report that you that you have conducted. Okay? So, yung mo siya introduce kung saan ang context sa report. Okay? So, muna siya ang introduction part. And then, <clears throat> your text starts here. So, dapat, naka, but since paragraph man siya, um, dapat naka-indent na siya. Since paragraph is composed of several sentences, so the first line should be indented. And then the next um, text na is mag-start na siya, daring aside. Okay? So, dari na. So, kaya indented man yung first nga line. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, after introduction, you will give the profile of the establishment. Okay? So, dili ang ani ha? Example lang ni siya. Okay? Dili ang ani dapat nakaparagraph form siya. Kani, mga points lang ni na kailangan ninyo remember. Okay? So, you need to get the following information. So, name of the establishment, um, um, business type. Okay? For example, if it is accommodation, if hotel ba ni siya. <clears throat> a cafe or a travel agency and then business ownership if sole proprietorship ba siya um, partnership ba siya corporation ba siya and others and then the business capital okay so you have to ask your respondent if how much okay ang yang capital sa establishment and then number of years in the operation total number of rooms if accommodation na siya total number of customers kaya ilang ma-accommodate if that's a cafe or a restaurant. Okay? So, magdepende na siya <clears throat> kung unsa nga type of firm ang yung gipili. And then, total number of employees. Okay? And then here, you're going to fill out, okay, the information of your respondent. Okay? The name, the position, the gender, the marital status, the number of years in establishment, the monthly salary, the age, and the education. So, if you did, if you did an interview, so, input the more information they have. If the respondent will not give an information regarding say how marital status and say how monthly salary, then that would be okay. Okay? So, after the profile of the establishment, then the profile of the establishment, you're going to give the readers the description of what the establishment is all about. Para makaibaw ang reader kung dako nga mangyana din na siya dako or gamay dai na siya nga company because it has something to do with the internal and external environment that you're representing at the next part okay so here internal environment of the establishment so i change na po din ang name there for example um internal environment of Shangri-La okay so you're going to give description of who are the owners and shareholders <clears throat> of the establishment if owners lang, then that would be okay. If all I shared holders, okay lang sab. Okay? So then, you're going to describe here the owners of the establishment. If na a board of directors, then you're going to describe here in details. Okay? The board of directors, the employees, as well as 
um, pila man ka buok, kung sa man ilham mga educational background, nabas li mga specific trainings, okay? So, the profile of their employees, imo na siya kailangan, imo na siya ibotangari. And then, organization and resources, so, talks about physical, okay, technological, information, capital, okay, capital, nga rianak siya ni mo ibutang, see. So, imo na siya kailangan i-describe. And then, the organizational culture. You're going to look into the vision and mission. Then, you try to ask the values and behaviors of the overall culture of the organization. And then after the internal um, environment, you're going to proceed to the external environment. So you're going to look on the following topics, okay? So who are the customers of the firm, the characters of the, of the <clears throat> customers, for example, um, yung mga customer kay mga millennial. So then you're going to describe the demographic characteristics of those customers. And then of course, that includes the suppliers and competitors. So, you're going to ask kinsa ilang mga suppliers, kinsa ilang mga identified competitors. If ever, walay identified nga competitors ang usakay nyo, ang firm agipili, then you will have a chance kung kamo ang identify sa ilang mga possible competitors. Okay? So, competitors dapat um, um, same business type and then same product offered within the, your locality, okay? Next is the label market. So, who are those potential applicants, okay? So, um, who are those qualified applicants, okay? And the next one is the political and legal factors. So, for example, um, the political dynamic that surrounds the establishment, okay? What are the different laws and regulations that the establishment has to follow as mandated by the government? And then economic factors, so, is the locality or the um, establishment belong in the fifth class municipality? Pobrihon ba or established na? So, you have to describe the economic condition where the firm is located. And then, of course, the social cultural factors and then the technological factors. So, um, dili sa internal ha? Sa external. Okay? So, since external money siya, um, you're going to identify if in, within that locality nga nakalocate ang business firm ng inyong gipili. Um, for example, daghan ba na siya communication network, daghan ba na kayo mga public wifi, so mga ingana. And then lastly is the environmental factor. So in general, um, um, the firm ba is located ba na siya sa hazard na area? Like, the loob ba na siya sa dagat, pro ba na siya sa typhoon, or the loob ba na siya sa dump site, which is hugaw kaayo, mga yung ana yung kitaon. And then after gathering all the information from the internal and external environment, then you're going to analyze the, the SWOT and the PESO analysis. So here, you're going to state um, the strength and weaknesses analysis of the establishment. And then you're going to analyze the opportunities and threats using the PESEL factors of the establishment. And after that, we're going to have our recommendations, okay? So, for example, nakakita ka weakness. So, unsa man ay mo ika-recommend. Nakakita ka opportunities. Unsa man ay mo ika-recommend. Nakakita ka og threats. So, unsa man ay mo ika-recommend, okay? So, in ana. And then, afterward is the appendices. So, these are your documentation. For example, nag-interview ka sa ni interview ka or ni visit ka sa firm okay so kana mo na siya mag ibutang dere at lastly is the literature cited so if you copied information from the internet so of course you're going to cite here kung asa tayo magi copy okay so that's all about your midterm project so if you have any question don't hesitate to chat me okay so since this is part of the, still part of the midterm so I will be the one who will um, rate or grade your midterm project. So again, don't hesitate to um, chat me. Don't hesitate to um, contact me. Um, I will be available anytime, man. Okay, so that would be all. And thank you, everyone.